I've been working on this Masechta throughout the whole year, little by little, every day. And now to come into Ritzufis, to learn four hours straight. When I went inside the Ritzufis in the beginning, I questioned my mind, how am I going to sit down for four hours and learn? If you would have told me at the beginning of this year that I'd be able to do four hours straight of learning, I would have told you you're crazy. No way. I can't do that. There's no way I'm sitting down to learn four hours straight when I can't even learn one hour straight. I never learned more than an hour in my life. He expects me to learn for three hours straight. Today is the day when you really see how far you've come. The Gemara just kept coming. I was able to read the Gemara, looking at it, it looked like the Gemara was talking to me. I continued plowing through. It was a feeling which you won't get from anything else. Before I knew it, it was already, I was into my fourth hour and I, I could have learned more. <laughs> Getting up from Seder after learning for four hours, done the Masechta, best feeling in the world, felt great. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible for me to sit by a stand there for four hours straight doing nothing but doing sukkah. It was incredible. The feeling afterwards was so unbelievable. Never felt anything like it before. I'm a big sports fan and I'm a type of guy where every time the team wins, they're in a good mood for the rest of the day. I'm telling you, the feeling does not compare. It's unreal how like, well, I just learned three hours, I just learned four hours. I, I never thought I'd be able to do that. Wow, how did I just do this? It really shows you, you can really do anything you want in life. I'm really looking forward to Vaharavna because I've never been able to sit straight for four hours, let alone learn. And I've seen these older Bachram and there's kids I've been friends with for years. They, they're just like me, they haven't been able to do that, but then they go through this program and then they can sit there for four hours straight and they look so happy doing it. I really can't wait. The only way for a 12th grade to sit down and learn with two fifths of Chazar for three, four hours straight and if you know the Gemara very well already. It starts with Shir every single day. You have to make sure to take notes, old footnotes, right? Little notes on the side to make you understand the Gemara better. Hard words, you should write the words in. You gotta chaza three times a day. You gotta be prepared for the next day. Every Shabbos, you review it over. And then comes Bein Azmanim, and you do, every day, you do five blah. You know the Gemara cold. They're able to just pound, yes, pound on Bein Azmanim, and get through everything you learned the whole year. And then you get up to the Chazar, and you feel so so powerful and you feel so great about yourself. And that's how, well, by the end of the year, you're able to sit for four hours straight and do 12 blot with Harusa. For anyone to learn one hour straight, a half hour straight, 15 minutes straight is hard. Four hours? To see Bachram learn four consecutive hours without stopping for a moment with a tremendous asmada is completely attributable to the work that our Redoom puts in. It's nothing short of stupendous. We are grateful to everyone for what he's doing. It has brought even more asmad into the yeshiva, the Bracham are learning with the Gishlak and with the Ritzifus. We are grateful. Thank you very much. Chazara, 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 and then Chazara is the only way to be able to sit down and actually enjoy what you're learning. Chazara takes a Gemara that's unenjoyable and difficult and turns it into something that's Gishmak, something that's enjoyable to learn. Usually you don't enjoy Gemara like that. But once you know it and know it after Chazar, you know it very well. You love the Gemara, you want a Chazar in three hours. If you have a Gemara in the bones, you just whip it open on the plane, on a bus, on a trip, wherever you are, it's able, easy. You know you always have a Masechta to go to. You own the Gemara, it's in you. I could just go like that and rattle off the whole parrot just like that. We have an unconditional love for it and passion to do it again and again and again. Chazor! It's a life-changing program. I've never learned like this in my life. How many blots did you learn today? Nine and a half blots so far. I gained a confidence in learning I never had before. It trains you for Shas. It trains you because you know how the Amaram talk. Now I'm able to open up any Gemara because all the Gemaras have the same structure. Once you know how, to, how a Gemara flows, how the words, where to put the commas, it opens up the whole Shas to you. There are 20 guys in my class that love learning Gemara right now. They love learning Gemara because of this program. Now I'm able to to read a Gemara so much better, and I'm able to make commitments regarding the, the Ian even. Once you get to that, that maturity level to understand that Torah is the only thing in the world, to say that I can do it for four hours is, is just it's the coolest thing. Other buffs on that, that are in the base manager that I'm now, are, they're jealous, they come over to us, they see us making siyumim, they see us always be able to you know, just sit down whenever, even if it's late and you know, we want to sit down and learn. It's easy for us because we know it so well. I see Bochum blossoming and changing and developing an Avas HaTayra. Today is the first time I actually finished the uh, Barak. When you learn Gemara for real, there's a sense of happiness that you'll never ever get anywhere else except for when you learn Gemara. Now that I finished learning for four hours straight, I feel like I'm on a high. 
This is the life. It felt great, and I want to do it a lot more in the future. You're like the happiest man in the world. There's nothing happier.